Whenever we're looking for good things to eat in Maine and want to try something new, we know where to turn for recommendations. Joe Riccio, private chef, host of the Food Coma podcast and TV series all around Bon Vivant. Thanks for coming in. Love to have you here as always. Always a pleasure. <laughs> so, you and I talked a little bit and you came up with a great idea. Hearty comfort foods. You would choose the dishes as always. We'll get right to them. Dish number one. Not that they're ranked in numerical order, nope. but this is the first one. Rye Cavatelli from Tipo in Portland. Yes. Why do you like this? Well, A, I think Tipo is one of the most criminally underrated restaurants in the city. Uh, amazing Italian food. The Rye Cavatelli, so the pasta is, is freshly made. The texture is amazing. It's got a spicy pork ragu, uh, mascarpone, pecorino. It's one of those things that's just like, it's sort of like a bolognese, but it isn't. And it's just like that, you know, stick to your ribs. And like, I mean, the last time I went there, I decided to go extra decadent and get uh, shaved black truffles all over it. Uh, <laughs> if they have those, I can highly recommend you do that. It's worth the money. Um, <laughs> I can say that, but it's one of those dishes that like, I can't go there and not get it. Another comfort food that you'd like, that you'd love, I should say. Yeah. The pho from Saigon in Portland. Yes, and the, the, the pho ga uh, specifically, the chicken pho, uh, their broth is literally, that's my medicine. Anytime I am in any way under the weather, um, I have them bring out a lecture, a little fresh ginger on the side as well. It is just a perfect broth, so much depth. I mean, I just do a little fish sauce, black pepper, all the herbs in it. I mean, I love pho in general, but this is the, this is to me the best broth in the, in the city. Well, there's something about soups that just uh, are so restorative yeah. and, and, and so warming and just a, a great dish to eat with friends in a communal setting. Another one that you're a big fan of, the night market soup from Long Grain in Camden. Yes. And the fan club for this soup is a large one. Yes, and I have mentioned this soup, I'm sure, before on this show, <laughs> but I will not rest until literally everybody in the world has tried it. You know, like you have to go try the soup if you haven't yet, because there are still people I run into who haven't had it. It's like if like, you know, it's like a combination of like pho, tom yum and like ramen all together. It's got like ground pork, peanuts, like crispy pork rinds. It is literally like, it is sort of everything you could want in a soup. I mean, everything at Long Grain is amazing. I mean, that, that is one of the best restaurants in the state, in my opinion. But that soup is a must have there. All right, we will reluctantly, reluctantly move away from soups <laughs> and move on to Super Beef at George and Leon's yeah. in Westbrook. Not a bad transition. No. I mean, if you are from Northern Massachusetts, uh, you're aware of what a real roast beef sandwich is. It's not the brown stuff you get at the deli at the supermarket here, you know. Uh, and George and Leon's is, is fairly new. It's just, you know, and beef has this whole vernacular around it, like the beef sandwich. But anyway, the super beef, you know, huge stack of like paper thin rare roast beef, you know, uh, the, the, the barbecue sauce, which I forget the name of the brand, you know, melted cheese on an onion roll. And it is, do not eat it in the car. Um, it is just sloppy. Yeah. It is. You don't get this to go and eat it while satisfying. driving. Satisfying. Yeah, it is like, it's just, it just kind of, you know, your soul will crave it after, you know. Here's a dish from a fairly new restaurant that has captivated mm -hmm. you. It is, the restaurant is Oak and Amber in Buxton, and the yep. dish is the smoked half chicken. Yes, and I think that chicken is often the litmus test for me for a restaurant. I mean, I think if chicken is an afterthought, um, it's very disappointing for me. And their smoked chicken is, is perfectly, you know, crispy skin on the outside, super tender. Uh, they just do it with like spinach, tomato, and, and focaccia. Um, but again, it's just like chicken doesn't need to be anything. It, it should be simple and it should be done well. And the smoky flavor is beautiful. Like I, I love that dish. Let's end with a bagel. And I love bagels. I eat bagels a couple of hundred times a year, I would conservatively say. <laughs> yeah. Your choice is one I hadn't heard of. It's a Cranadama bagel mm -hmm. from Rover Bagel in Biddeford. Yes, uh, that's why I wanted to finish with something like a simple, but it doesn't always have to be some big production. Uh, Rover Bagel, any of their bagels, by the way, are delicious. The Cranadama bagel is basically a combination. It's like a, it's like a Anadama bread with cranberry. Uh, I get it with the, the chili cream cheese on it. It's this perfect combination of like sweet, spicy. Uh, their bagels, they remind me, they have like a, like the chew of a New York bagel, mm -hmm. uh, but the char of like a Montreal style bagel. It's like this perfect combination of both. So, I mean, Again, it's just like, it doesn't have to be a big production. Like that's to me hard, as hearty a comfort food as anything else. Comfort food should not be elaborate. It should be pretty straightforward. That's what makes it comfy. Bunch of dishes recommended by Joe Riccio. Jay, Joe, thank you as always. Absolutely. If you want to see that full list, just head to the 207 section of our app or website. You'll find the entire 
set of recommendations. Stay with us. Back with more in a moment.